What is up, traders? I wanted to give you a quick technical analysis and a trade that I took uh, today on Bitcoin. So it's a short trade. And um, you can see that we traded up into this area of 19,429 and uh, traded into this pennant shape. Now, normally, the bias is that you would break up and this is a, a bull flag. So this was a perfect opportunity to trap some of the, the longs coming in here because generally the target would be right all the way up. Uh, if you had the breakout here, target will be all the way up to the $20,000 region. So I was looking at the order flow and um, I actually went short a little bit earlier uh, or a little bit earlier than I should have. But um, let me just adjust this camera. Apologies. So I could see pulling a fib from the a high at 19,934 to the swing low at 18,946 that we had a reversal area here. Also, uh, we had a swing failure pattern of the previous highs. If uh, you look at this high that was taken out by this wick here at 19,700, and also rejection at the top of the trend line of the pennant. And we had another trend line. If you look on the four hour, let me just change that over there. We've had a trend line that's been building since this high year at 20,438. So as you can see there, rejection, rejection, uh, and the, that was the previous high at 19,900. So the likelihood of a rejection year was uh, was very, very likely. We also had a previous day value area low. So if we look on the TPO charts, uh, we had a rejection. Uh, it was actually a, a previous day value area low. Yes, right here. 19,655. Yes, excuse me, yesterday's value area high that we rejected at. And as you can see, we've uh, if you're trading value and trading TPO, we lost the value area high for the day, lost the POC, lost the very value area low for the day. And we are testing yesterday's value area low. So if we lose this at 19,310, you can see I've marked it here on my chart, previous day value area low. At the moment, we are kind of bouncing right there. And you can see we it's testing it as support. I've put my uh, um, support resistance flip at that $19,346 area. If we look at the five minute, if we get this break of structure and get a bullish break of structure, possibly we'll go back up. But I entered the trade, took a short at $19,560 and currently in profits. So what's going to happen? Uh, a couple of scenarios that could play out here. If you've already taken the short trade, good for you. Uh, I wouldn't take a short right down here because we could bounce from here. We've, you can see we've had a wick down to that weekly level at 19,276. And what could happen is we come and retest this previous day value area low or this weekly level as support and we go back up. I mean, this is crypto after all. We are still in a bear market. If you aren't sure, just zoom out. Go to a weekly time frame and look at what has been happening. At the moment, we've got almost zero strength that, is, that has been happening on the charts. So, yes, I am expecting lower levels. Am I expecting it today? Possibly not. But we are teetering on the edge here. If we break down, we are definitely going to see some lower levels um, so I would be prepared for that. Is this the bottom? Yeah, I also don't think so. So look at this. <laughs> Zero strength. We've, we really still need to reclaim at least that $24,000, $25,000 area for any sign of strength. And uh, we need to reclaim that area. We are very far from that at the moment. And apart from that, we would need to reclaim this I'd say that $30,000 to that $28,000 area, very far to go. So the likely scenario here is that we keep on rejecting and um, we could even range 
uh, a little bit longer. But obviously, my advice is trade the ranges until they break. So we were we've been trading in a very nice range over the last couple of days between this range, the entire range value era high at $19,900 and that $18,275 area. So for now, I'm going to hold on to this trade. Areas above that we can look at as uh, resistance. Obviously, if we break up out above this uh, previous day value area low or that value area high, I actually labeled it wrong. Um, we can look to the range value area high at 19,900. And if I turn back on my horizontal levels, let's just turn off these value areas and those fibs, also those trend lines. So we can see we've got a weekly here that we rejected at. That's going to act as resistance if the price comes back up to that level. Right now, support at this weekly level, 19,276, as I mentioned. POC will act as support. But if we lose this as support, retest it as resistance, we're going to look to come down below this daily level, test this range value area low as support, possible bounce, but also we could break right through it and go lower. My bet is we are going to see a little bit lower. I'm looking to take profits probably at this $18,800 area if we lose this. Remember, trade, trade the ranges until they break. Uh, don't have a set bias. Make sure you have stop losses in place. And um, once I'm out of this trade, I'll possibly start looking for a long on some signs of strength. So if you like this idea, give it a thumbs up. Uh, give me a like. Give me a follow. And uh, let's look at the order flow just before we continue. You can see we've had volume increasing from uh, about 2.30 South African time, 11 million, 8 million. These are half an hour candles increasing to 24 million, 27 million, and most of it has been negative delta. So that also creates an opportunity to possibly uh, see some trap traders. But yeah, okay, we are seeing some shorts at the bottom of the candle, some longs at the bottom of the candle. So this really could be a reversal area. But my advice is trade safely, tight stop losses, uh, good risk management. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.